It's Miss Red Polka Dot Box. Humorously, her calligraphy whispers L O V E. She collects the names of all my past lovers, keeps them safe, like limited edition 50p coins. Their value hasn't increased, but their weight has, and she's hungry to collect more. She lies dormant for most of the year, only to lift her hat maybe twice, or three times if she's particularly needy, and I beg her, please, go on a diet, a detox, a cleanse, but she bends her sweet nostalgia around my arms and tells me, sweetie, I'm not done just yet. We've had our fair share of fun, don't get me wrong, but most of those names belong in a chest with rocks locked up and chained a long ago dropped into the ocean. I'm much like the marine fungi you would imagine to grow over that despicable collection. A frightening thought often spores in my mind just the same. Of the entirety of names, A to Z, discussing the only thing they have in common. Me. What horror would they share? How strong would they bond to unpack all my romantic patterns? What cult would they clan against my self-fulfilling plans? The false hope enveloped into lunch boxes. Connections kaleidoscoped through astrology lessons. Rose-stained promises as temporary as the kisses that sealed them. And I wonder further, how might that convicted bunch initiate every new title to enter? A cold wash for each individual letter. A frisking for any remaining dignity. A pointed hat to mark their idiocy. A cup of tea with sugar to soothe the shock. And a blanket, of course, in case their arrival wasn't ostentatious enough already to comfort the part of their soul they just lost, too. Miss Red, short for redemption, saved from evil. Polka dot like bullet shots, box. Catching names like chicken pox from under my bed. I dread to think of the next time she rumbles. <laughs>